Alright, so I'm going to show you how to install 18650 batteries into your JBL Extreme speaker. Okay, so I'm just showing you how to disassemble this. to it this one was pulled from a laptop so it was already connected in uh, parallel so I, all I have to do is just to connect those
and you can use some sandpaper on those terminals if it's hard to uh, have the wires uh, soldered to it or you can use a little bit of flux okay and then we do the last better pack okay so make sure you connect those wires properly and correctly because if you don't either your battery is going to explode or board is it gonna burn okay, you don't want to do that because if you ruin the, the battery management system then you obviously you need to buy the actual battery for it because I've seen some on eBay that cost around $80 or, or less I'm not sure if they're actually really good or hold or charge for a long time okay so one more last time it should look like that but if you're good at soldering then uh, way more better okay. but my goal here is just to make sure it's connected and you see how it's connected okay so you just cover that up with whatever you want uh, I'm obviously not going to be keeping these in the 18th, I mean the GBL Extreme for a long time because I'm gonna upgrade it to better batteries. Okay, I'm just showing you that it's not gonna show any voltage in the beginning because you need to activate the board. In doing that, you need to plug it back in and then uh, plug in the AC adapter. Okay, so of course you need your pliers again for this one, and you need to make sure it actually goes underneath those speaker wires. And then I totally forgot to remove my hand out of the way of the camera, so you can see, but you get the point. Okay, so install the passive radiator back in, and then uh, of course don't forget to block part of that uh, port that the uh, battery cables are going through because you're gonna make a lot of weird noises when you play music and I found that out after I did this part so I have to reopen it again and do it okay so make sure you plug it in the AC adapter and then it should work if it's not working then that means one of your connections is loose or something else is wrong Alright, so there you have it. We just put everything back together. If you are wondering why I'm using 18650s rather than just buying those batteries that are already put together, uh, lithium polymer batteries, uh, I just had these lying around. So I wanted to use it. Yeah, and plus, I like to do uh, uh, little projects like these. So if you enjoyed this video, okay, you can hit that like button or subscribe or whatever you want to do. If you have any comments about anything that happened in the video, you can do that below. Alright, that's it for me. Thank you for watching.